What's up guys, it's Superdome here and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video, but today I'm just going to go and do a post commentary over some uh, over some uh, LBSG gameplay, I don't know why I can't talk, but anyways, <clears throat> today's video is about like channel growth, YouTube tips, YouTube advice and all that stuff, because I do get a lot of comments at, uh, from you guys asking how did I grow my channel so fast or how I'm blowing up so fast, and Part of that is because of Eris giving me a shout out. Definitely, that's a huge part of uh, the channel growing. But I believe the reason that most of the fans are staying and actually watching the content is on my part. Because usually what happens is when a person gives you a shout out, the people will go for that day, subscribe to the channel and watch maybe one or two videos and then they'll die off and then you don't see the support anymore. But because of these tips or advice that I'm going to give you guys, this is what I believe is the reason that most people are staying on the channel and watching me consistently and commenting on every video and liking every video. So I'm not saying I'm not the best person in the world to give out advice and I'm not, you know, the YouTube guru or whatever. I don't have all the knowledge <laughs> to do YouTube, right? But I've been doing YouTube for like three years and I believe I do have enough knowledge to know how to make a fan base or like keep consistent subs so <clears throat> a few tips that i have and the most important tip i have is be yourself and stick to that throughout youtube the only reason you want to be yourself is because you want your fans to engage with you and you want them to know who you are so if you're not yourself and you're putting on an act for your fans most people can tell when you're putting on an act for someone or to like blow up so if you're not being yourself throughout youtube then most people won't want to watch you because they feel like you're trying too hard to make a video which i understand if it's like a skit or something then yeah you have to act but if it's just like a commentary you don't want to try to commentate like someone else just be yourself be original and that comes down to tip number two is be original so being original means don't go to somebody's channel and steal exactly what they upload like if you see somebody upload something and it blows up on youtube don't try to copy them you can copy like the theme of it but then twist it up and make it into your own video don't make it exactly like someone else because then why would they want to watch the same video twice i don't want to watch the same video twice i won't go to like pewdiepie's video for example watch one of his most famous videos and then i see someone else uploaded on youtube i'm not gonna watch theirs because i'm like i just watched the same exact video so don't copy people be original stick to that and stick to being yourself so those are the uh, number two tips uh, the first two tips another tip is your commentary so keep a clean commentary i'm not saying you have to be rated g but you know what i mean by clean is make sure there's no background noise Make sure there's no like dogs barking in the background or something. Just try to keep it where your vocals are the only thing that the people hear. And other than the in like in gameplay, the actual gameplay sounds. So try to make sure that your commentary is very nice. Try to stay consistent with your commentaries. It's uh, either you're an energetic or you're a monotone. I'm pretty monotone because that's the way my voice is. But if you're an energetic comment uh, commentator. Make sure you stick to that throughout YouTube. So good luck on commentary. The only tips I can give you is buy a decent microphone. That's the only tips I can give you. Uh, certain microphones, the Blue Yeti, uh, ATR 2020, the Blue uh, Spark. Those are all really good microphones. So that's one thing that you probably would have to put good investment on. Another tip for YouTube is upload at high quality. It is the year of 2016. Nobody wants to see a 360p video at 20 FPS. I would try to record it at the highest quality as possible and at the highest frame rate as possible. So if you can handle 1080p 60fps, do that. The only reason I don't upload at 1080p is because of render time. I don't want to wait for render time when I make videos and that's only because I'm on a tight schedule when I have time to make videos. So if you can do 1080p 60fps, do it. If you can do 720p 60fps, do it. If you can do 1080p or 720p 30fps do it don't go below 30 fps and don't go below 720p on youtube so make sure you do that the next tip is thumbnails so don't try to make one of those super clickbaity thumbnails and titles so thumbnails and titles go in the same category don't try to make the super clickbaity things make sure you do your own stuff don't try to be a clickbaiter youtube like a clickbaiting youtuber i mean a, a video here and there with clickbait is okay but every single video don't try to make a clickbait because then like i said people will notice that you're trying too hard to gain subs and they'll believe you're trying to do youtube for the money which 
isn't the case i mean unless you want to then yeah go ahead uh, if you want to try to make a living off youtube go for it but don't try to make every title a clickbait title because those really do get annoying in subscription boxes it's it's like the worst thing and then the last tip it's the same thing don't do youtube for money that's probably the most self-explanatory and obvious thing the only reason i say don't do youtube for money is because if you plan on uploading one video if you're just starting out you upload one video and expect it to go viral there's a very slim chance it's probably like one out of a million to freaking get a video to go viral especially when you're just starting youtube you're probably gonna get like 10 views and then nine of those views are you clicking to see if anybody watched the video that's literally the truth on youtube so don't do youtube for money because it takes a long long process to make money on youtube and i know a lot of you guys see youtubers making stacks making six figures <laughs> freaking making more than doctors and lawyers yeah it happens but you know those dudes have been on youtube for like seven or eight years uploading consistently so make sure you stick to all the basics try to do youtube for fun unless you blow up if you do blow up then you can consider trying to making uh living off youtube so Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and hopefully these tips did help you out with YouTube. If you did enjoy, go ahead and drop a like and let me know what you guys thought of the tips. If you have any tips of your own, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in the next one.